October 7th. 10 a.m. The film festival is here. It's fair to say that I truly love films. In the 20 years since they first emerged in Calvert, they've become a true art form. One that will continue to spread throughout Zemuria. The world of the silver screen is enthralling and ever-evolving, capturing the hearts of audiences with its thrilling brand of drama. The fact so many of you have flocked to this desert city to celebrate them speaks volumes about the power of film. And there was much rejoicing. Hooray! I would, of course, be remiss not to acknowledge the cancellation of the Messeldom Film Festival two months ago. A most tragic event. Its loss, however, shall not diminish our shared love for this burgeoning medium, even if our passion for it takes various shapes. Above all else, may this festival serve as an expression of that innate richness and diversity. As Prince of Elsai, I, Sharid Oswald, am pleased to announce the commencement of the first Thar Bad Film Festival. At noon, we'll be awarding the Leon Door, as well as putting on the Carnal Cavalcade, two events you won't want to miss. But enough rambling from royalty. To everyone attending, may your time here be joyous. Welcome! to our cinematic celebration. Oh, lovely. What's going on with Shahina, though? I'm worried for her. Damn, this town's really coming to life now that it's the big day. Yeah, I don't know if any of the other festivals I've ever seen compare to this. Seems like the information blackout on what happened with Dylan's working as intended, too. Not that I was worried with Renee looking after it. Between that and the Orbal Hookah incident, he's certainly proven to be an impressive individual. I have mixed feelings on everything, but... I'm definitely glad to see everyone's hard work paying off. Even if we can't rest easy just yet. That we can't. There's still the carnal cavalcade at noon, plus the big award ceremony. It's entirely possible that trouble could strike during either of those things. I'm not saying we can't have fun and enjoy ourselves, just stay on the lookout for anything suspicious. Yeah, yeah, we know the drill by now. You want us to take a stroll around town and do the rounds while checking for any new or SPGs that come in, yeah? Nothing we haven't done before. So this is how Arkwright Solutions goes about conducting its risk assessment work. I find it very interesting. It's gonna be okay, you guys. We can put our experience from Longport to use here too. Also, I think we should check on Shahina and Sara and see how they're doing. Definitely. I've been worried about Sara. Hopefully she feels better after a good night's sleep. Uh, no rest for the weary, it seems. Guess we've got a full plate for our last day in town. Let's get to work, folks. Alright, so... Let's... Potentially view a few key events first. Like, can we travel elsewhere? Ooh, we got something in the Sansi straight away. You know, let's go off to the Sansi. Then let's head over. See what's going on here. Where's the green event? Up there in that area that we haven't been to yet. I wonder if we can travel further down there now. Let's, 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 let's. Uh, Sansi. Cave. See if we can just go further in. The wind flows different today. It's blowing in a completely different direction. That may be a sign that the sandstorm has moved elsewhere. Yeah, the plant has gone. Okay. Right, let's turbo it. Whip. 
and we'll head off towards the area we haven't explored yet. See about that for SPG. There's that guy again. Dangerous fellow, he is dangerous fellow. Ooh, some kind of structure over here, potentially. Or is it just rocks in the desert? Could just be rocks in the desert. It's definitely not rivers in the desert. Bam, bam. That looks like a nice down, bam, 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 bam. I should see about sorting my quartz. Ooh. It's like a Stonehenge type thing. Similar to what we saw actually in the North Highlands, when you think about it. So it very much is like the North Highlands in some ways. That looks like a nice chest. It does. Amethyst ring. Let's just explore the map a little bit more. Oh. I expected it to um, physical attacks for now. fill in all the gaps here. Right, there we go. So, is the map done? Looks it. Right, let's have a look at this stone circle. What the? Let's, let's see what we got here first. Vitality droplet. Okay, let's take on whatever this is, because that's clearly what this is about. A fearsome foe is prowling around. Exterminate! Time for you to focus. All right, so it can't hide anything from us. Hmm. Time to Attack go all weakness with an arc. Let's see what we want to do then. Because I'm thinking. I suggest we strike now. Reza. Uh. Uh, would have helped if I, you know, got everything sorted before I did things. Like, you know, waste these rams so I can get everything yeah. topped up again. Reset. Reset? Hmm. Try for the rock. Initiating drive. And do a play. Uh, the burn and blind. Blame. Good, good, good. A chance. a chance, he says. A chance. Yeah, we'll go with the shield. No, we'll try and go with the shield. I'll take you on. We need to get those resists up a bit more, I feel. Try for the Going seal. And yeah, we'll wait on the hit. The, the halo does, um... How can I look at it without activating it? Because I want to look at the details of bringing the halo. Like, does it get rid of ailments? That's the bit I want to check right now. Let's go with the chrono drive, though. I'll try and go with the chrono drive. I'm still going to go with this. Is the ailments in the issue right now? Stopping me from buffing. No, it didn't. Uh, well, do we have a shield at all? I think we do, don't we? Yeah, everyone has a shield from the looks of it. Okay, I could be wrong on that. Do, 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 try for it. Mm. This this. There. Delay, lovely. I won't let this chance slip by. Hmm. Accessing. Accessing. Initialize. Deploying shield. Have all these shields protect us from what it's doing. I won't lose. Ah. Cipher activate. Blames. Ah. Put that 
plus incoming, which is nice. Activating drive. Hit him fast, Barry. A chance. Here goes. Okay. So we'll have that. How are we doing on everything here? So, mm. I suggest we strike now. I, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Going all in. Um. Hmm. It's like who we want to use for S craft. At this point. And we're looking at our crafts. Certain arts have to be affected right now. Let's just. Uh, we don't need the shield. Heal ailments. Or try and heal ailments, you know. Try. Okay. Like a uh, resist ailments across everyone, really. It's like, because that, that's the issue with this enemy, isn't it? It really is. Effective. I know, I know, I know. I'm just contemplating. Activating drive. Just get this uh Zypha activate. Buff on us. Just need to resist the damn thing it keeps putting on us. I won't lose. Okay, so you know actually we'll put that on um Van as well. Also get rid of what he's got. Here I go. There you go. Oh, you still got it at the moment. It's like yeah. It's annoying. Zypha, activate. Thanks, pal. A chance. A chance, he says. Cypher, activate. Activating drive. Just get that all around. That feels like the way to go about this at this point. Just get that. My sincere thanks. And resist ailments up. Eat this. Yeah. Like, even trying to just attack. There. No Thank luck. You. How are we doing? Some elements look effective. Oh, don't they, Just? Yeah, Going that's quite. Activating drive. A chance. A chance, you say? Activating drive. Hmm. Ran out of EPU. Still debuffs. Certain arts ought to be affected. Still debuffs. Pull out all the stops. Uh, it's quite annoying. Silly, silly boss. Give 
No, I want that. Thank you. Because hopefully this will finish it off. This damn debuffing. Just need to see about getting like a, a group wide remove ailments, resist ailments. That's what I really need at the moment, isn't it? Oh, I could do better. Sonic Chaser. Found assault. Mission accomplished. Sun and sea extermination complete. So, okay, 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 okay. We need to look at that, because that's, that's genuinely a problem, isn't it? Good, good, good. Alright, Orban, it'd be wise to have it on you if sure I can. Thing. I'll tune up your ornament. Of course, we could just play around with a few things, like maybe give a new evade to just get that up a little bit. Like just taking you into the next levels could be good. Seal could be good. Tax and crafts can seal enemies at 10% chance. It's like, mm -hmm. kind of, kind of want to get the uh, the shield lines done, really, if anything, because that's our resist. So if we can get that higher, that would be nice. It's just whether or not we can. That's a single element slot. Grants ATS S when HP is low. That's a single element slot. Does give us resist mute. Shard skills refreshed. So, yeah, that's helpful. Diamond ring doesn't really change anything with the shard skills, does it? Because I'd, I'd like to get all these down here. Like, can can you get them to a hundred? I'd probably need a lot to get them up to a hundred. Maybe I should be looking more at um, where am I thinking? Like the skills... No, the arts. That's what I'm after. Is there anything here? Like, um... Arts driver updated. I want to look at you. Pray up. Yeah. No, 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 no. A lot of slots on that, though. Which did I have before? I had you before, didn't I? But I could get you... Because that's got S Curia inbuilt already. Is there a way to look at the um, skills without updated. actually going across to it by selecting it? Because I'd like, I'd like. I, I need to get to a, um, a shop or an orbital thingy, don't I, to really sort this properly. So let's go to the cave because I know one's there. See about orbital settings, yeah, because custom. It's not slots we need to open, like you do need them open though. Really need to sort your quartz, don't I? Okay, we're running out there. How are you doing here? Yeah, you're gonna need a much more investment. So does Ferida. Okay, that's fine. Plugins, plug plugins. This is what I want, really, isn't it? We got because again, yes, yeah, it's, it's like I need a wide S Curia, and I'm wondering if there is one because I can't remember if there is one. Hmm, cures KO. It's like maybe something within that. I'm not... That's what I'm after. Refreshing Veil, that's what I'm after. Okay. Support target, set circle, large area, cures and resists ailments. That's what I'm after. So Refreshing Veil is what I... What, where am I going? Alright, so set plugins. Um, kind of actually want to change up your arts driver. Oh, do we? Because you got the S Curia anyway. Hmm. 
I'm gonna give you Albion, yeah. Bit of a buff. And then we see about the refreshing veil. Because that's very useful for us right now, isn't it? Yeah, let's see about buffs. We could give you the Chrono Drive as well, I feel. Like, this is very powerful with all these, though. Just give... Oh, well, I don't really need that with you, do I? Uh, make sure you still have a heal. La Forte. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take the Chrono Break as well, actually. Okay, so... Other than that, do need to see about, like, yours over here as well. Hmm... We'll get another refreshing veil out, actually. That might be a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so, 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 what am I thinking? Orbments itself, looks like uni quartz. Don't worry, Citri's got your back. Oh, how lovely. See any ones we're not using, like fortune. New skill added. Not any bigger ones we're just not using. Skills I'll altered. sort it all properly at a later day, as I've said. Slot. That's Skills HP regen. So I just need to really get things going with this for now. Can I get a resist mute in here? That'd be nice. Yeah, there we are. Go with the EP cut. I'm, I'm more looking at the, the lines more than anything here, obviously. Hmm. Chance of lowering target ADF. Yeah, New we'll have that. We'll have added. that. That's a single element slot. Gale boost, aqua boost, chaos boost. What's the difference there? Don't think there is one, is there? Having that takes us to gale boost two. New skill added. We'll have it. We'll That's have a it. You know. Element slot. See about maybe potentially getting some Gale skills with her. Or well, wind skills. Because like, that, that's the kind of thing is like I need to look at eventually. It's like sorting that. It's like just... Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. I, I, I don't feel like I need to yet. Go New with a freeze. Yeah, I want to look don't at worry. sorting it Citrus eventually. So everything's really good. Do I have like an action 2 I could use? Like, no. Nah. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it be for now. And like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll invest time into looking at getting everything sorted there. Now we're getting to a point where I feel like we should look at getting that sorted so everything lines up correctly with the right arts, the right skills, all that type of stuff. Yes. Right. So, let's go back to the cultural district. Let's do this. And start the rounds, I feel. We'll do both events while we're here as well. Right, so. Things have finally calmed down today. I'm still wondering what the heck was going on around here yesterday, though. Whatever it was, I'm glad it's over. I was starting to worry that's what the Central East was always like. Now I can just enjoy the film festival without worrying about that. Start getting excited for the next trip I'm taking. Yeah, because what I'm thinking with, like, when I do eventually sort all my quartz and stuff is, like, basically taking everything off of everyone. Take all the quartz off, take all, all the... Plugins, stuff like that. I was trying to remember the word. Yeah, t take all that off and then start from the beginning. And see how I want to build one person, then build the next person, then build the next person. And make everything work together. Just not ready to do that yet, because I don't think I've got enough to properly do that. Hello, welcome. Uh, we've got sweet honey and uh, the freshest apples in town. Would you buy some, maybe? Uh, this is so awkward. Do I really have to yell all the time? I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to say. But I can't give up. I have to make at least some sales so I don't get fired. Yeah, hang in there, see them, sign them. Uh, just give it all you've got. Hang in there, kid. Once you find out how tasty these apples are, you'll have to stop yourself from stealing more. Just like me. Crap, I shouldn't have said that much. 
I need to change my approach pronto. No, oh, she's trying. I like it. Find this just anywhere. The film festivals as bustling as you'd expect. It was like night and day compared to how things were yesterday. Mind you, we still did good business even during all that weirdness. We weren't hurting for Mira, that's for sure. Still, whatever happened, I'm glad it's behind us. I feel a lot more comfortable selling my meat when the city feels alive like this. Hey there. What are you? Hey there, see ya. Need some spices, perhaps? Things are so bustling, as ever over here, but somehow it all feels a little different compared to yesterday. It's tough to explain. The parents of my daughter's new friend, the ones from our town, came to say hello. They seem like incredibly nice people. They're taking her to the film festival, which I appreciate. I'm too busy with work to go and was apprehensive about letting her go alone. Okay. Hello. hello. For shopping. Goodbye. Oh, come and see if... The city feels a little different from how it was yesterday. There's a much more positive energy in the air. I guess we have the film festival to thank for that. I think I'll stay around and soak in the atmosphere. I don't know very much about all the motion pictures, but it's a good opportunity to learn more about what young people think these days. Hmm. Why, hello. Thank why, hello. Why, hello. Thank why, hello. Thank you, yes. Why, hello. Thank you, yes. Hello, why, thank you. Hmm. Just wondering what they were drinking. I'm wondering if that's going to be the next thing. Probably not, though. I always knew something was fishy about those orbital hookahs, and I never imagined they were using unapproved ingredients. Had some in stock myself, unfortunately. Makes me glad I kept recommending the traditional ones to customers. I did get pretty worried since I had some customers who bought some of the orbital hookahs I had in stock. Thankfully, from the way it looks this morning, they all seem to have calmed down. Can't tell you what a relief that is. I was going to see what you were selling, but I can't, can I? There's still a lot of energy surrounding the film festival, but it feels like nothing like the craziness that was happening yesterday. Maybe the rumors I've been hearing about those confiscated orbital hookahs being the culprit really was true. Anyway, at least we all managed to make it to the festival in one piece. Now to go out and enjoy it while I can. Oh, do enjoy. Hmm. 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 She's still around, so like this thing, like we would have been alerted if something bad had happened. So it's like, what did he say to her? Hmm. I heard you all helped out with that whole Vegas films mess. Thank you. Seems you're more trustworthy than I gave you credit for. From what Fee has told me. You are all really capable, even more than we were originally expecting, to be honest. Just because those orbital hookahs have been confiscated doesn't mean we can breathe a sigh of relief and take it easy now. Almata almost certainly still has their eye on something else. We'll have to be on high alert, all throughout the festival. Indeed you must. Alright, you two. Oh, hey guys, morning. Good to see you're brimming with energy after all that craziness yesterday. How are you doing, Zara? Are you holding up too? Yeah, I mostly feel fine after getting some sleep. Thanks for asking. But I've decided to have Shahina fill in for me at the parade anyway, just to be safe. Zara was just helping me put on the finishing touches to my act, as a matter of fact. Okay. You're gonna do great, Shahina. After all that practice you put in yesterday, there's no way you won't. Thanks, Ferry. You're right. I'm gonna go out there and blow everyone's minds. I'll show them a dance they will never forget, believe it. Okay. Oh, yeah, someone's feeling fired up. I mean, you saw what happened yesterday. Both me and my sister got kidnapped, not to mention all the other stuff. That had to literally be the nuttiest day of my entire life, no doubt. So you bet that I'm gonna make up for all that stress by making today the best day ever. By a long shot. It's gonna be so good. We won't have time to remember any of the bad stuff that happened to us. Nobody will. Hmm. But it'll only happen if I give it my all. That's why I'm so amped up. Your resolve is truly admirable. With you there... 
I'm sure the parade will be spectacular. And Sara? I want you to know you've got nothing to worry about. I can handle the spotlight. I'll shine as bright as the sun when I'm dancing on that float, just like you would. Brighter than anyone else around, in fact. You can count on it. That's worrying. Chahina, thank you. I'll be watching you from the crowd, rooting for you. Triple dot. Van's noticed something! Also, thank you so much for looking out for us. I know we've really put you through the ringer the last few days. Nah, it's all good. We took this job knowing it might not be easy, but we'll see it through. And there is one thing I want to make clear, Shahina. We've done our best to minimize any uncertainty going into today. I can't promise that the film festival will come out completely without a hitch. But I can promise that whatever happens, we'll take care of it one way or the other. So don't worry about what might happen. Leave the what-ifs to us. You both go out there and live it up like you should. You bet. Thanks, Van. Yes, thank you, Van. Knowing you're here is so reassuring. I know I can trust you. Van's noticed something. No, you're not, mate. I just hope I'm imagining things either way. Well, all we can do is focus on the here and now. Whatever happens, happens. It's a uh, ooh. Wait, what? What was that? Or is it the airship flying about? Potentially. It's just that shadow. It's like, huh? I'll be honest, it's a little tough handing over the reins to Shahina for the parade, even if Mr. Gotti and Prince Sharid are okay with it. And it's a really big responsibility for her. Between you and me, I'm a little anxious to say the least. But after watching her practice, I know she's got what it takes. If someone has to take over for me, I'm glad it's her. She's going to be great. Mm-hmm. You guys have nothing to worry about. I'll shine just as bright in that parade as my sister can. It's easy for me to forget sometimes, but I know just how much Sara has struggled to make sure we make ends meet. So getting on that float is the least I can do to pay her back. This is all gonna be about paying her back somehow, isn't it? I'm gonna dance so hard it'll be an even better show than she'd put on. It's like, hmm. The shine so bright was the bit that made me very sort of like, uh oh. <laughs> now that the smell of those fake hookahs is gone, the real stuff tastes even better. Nothing beats tradition here. In any case, I'm glad to see that the young folks have calmed down. And now I can simply sit back and enjoy all the excitement that the film festival has brought to the city. And the young folk in these parts appear to have calmed down considerably. What could have happened to make them so mellow now? I don't see those wretched mechanical hookahs any longer either. Huh. That'd certainly go a long way if they got rid of those terrible things. I suppose I can let bygones be bygones now that they've all learned to act human once again. Well, all save one, that is. Talking about that Salvatore Gotti's films, Gehenna will freeze before I ever have anything good to say about that man's filth. All right, calm down, mate. Chill. Kitty. This is where Sara and Shahina live, isn't it? Yep, although they don't look to be home right now. I know, we just saw them. You know this. It was just a second ago. Really Ooh. Oh, the yeah, I'm assuming the shadow is the airship if it's flying about. That's the only thing that would be up there that would block the sun. Hmm. Oh, hey guys, I was just lending a hand with preparations for the big parade. The procession's going to start from the plaza here, so I thought it'd be nice if we locals pitched in to make sure it goes off without a hitch. After all, we're talking about her big debut here. After watching her so long from the sidelines, I can't not help her, can I? They'll be filming the whole thing from that airship too, so... There it is. So it's... All got to look absolutely perfect from every possible angle. Hey, if it isn't my favorite, Spriggan and company. Get a load of all this. My pride and joy is ready to be unleashed upon the city. 
You all will be in for one hell of a show, more than you can possibly imagine. It'll shock and amaze you in ways you didn't know were shockable. Old Gaspard, I don't want anyone moping over him, so I'm staying focused on delivering the glitziest, most glamorous show ever seen. As for what happened last night, well, I plan to say basically the same thing in my speech later. Rumors are already beginning to float around. Why I see it, people won't be able to enjoy the festival if they have any misgivings about it. I said I always give my speeches off the cuff. No scripts for me. You gotta talk from the heart to reach people, in my opinion. Yeah, but you can talk from the heart and prepare. Ooh, like what's under here? You can see it's sort of design going on. Right, there's a, a raised bit towards the back of it. Okay, okay. Hmm. Right, anyway. Rounds. A lot's happened this week, but at least we finally get to see the parade. I like movies too, but what I really want to see is Sarah dancing. She's going to look so pretty in the parade. She's always so beautiful too. Anyway. I've got to help get things ready. Talk to you guys later. This is where the parade's going to kick off later. I've been watching them put it all together. And it's really looking like it'll be out of this world. But I can't just stand here gawking at it. I'm going to try spying on the practice sessions to see what I can use to up my game. Hmm. This movie festival is totally unlike the festivals we usually have around here. It's great. Are Western festivals like this? No way. We don't have any festivals like this in my town either. My dad told me that this one is special and that an amazing guy called Salvatore Gotti came up with it. Wow, I didn't know that. Um, I don't know a lot about movies, actually. Could you maybe tell me about Western movies while we walk around? I want to learn more. Yeah, okay. There are movies about everything. They even make ones based on picture books. If I see them at the festival, I'll tell you. Alrighty. My dad is all better now. Yippee. Now we can all enjoy the film festival. I'm going to walk around and see what's going on with my new friend. Once the film festival is over, I plan to give Imani this picture book I brought with me. Just before I go home. I hope she likes it. She will. It'll be a treasured memory. Mother... Jamila. Uh, Jamila? I don't know. It said it was okay for me to go back outside. It's much calmer now than it was yesterday. I'm so glad. Clem's going home soon, so we're going to enjoy the film festival while we can. Oh. I really lost my mind yesterday. It was pathetic. All I did was make my family worry about me. I thought I'd enjoy a little of the unique local tobacco, but I guess that goes to show why you should always look before you leap. With all the trouble I cause my family, I need to make it up to them. So today, with the film festival, it's all about them. That includes looking after my son's new friend like any responsible parent should. Oh, good on you, mate. My husband's back to his normal self. I'm just grateful that our son didn't get caught up in the commotion. But I still wonder what happened. The seller did apologize for those hookahs being unauthorized or whatever it was. Uh, was it really? I have a lot of questions and concerns still. But right now, I'm going to try to enjoy the film festival, especially while Imani's with us. Yeah. The trouble from yesterday seems to have died down, so I've told the children it's okay to go outside, especially since it's festival day. That said, with all these crowds around, they should still only walk around the festival if they have a guardian accompanying them. Still, the film festival is a wonderful opportunity for them. It's important for them to get to have all sorts of experiences. Indeed. Goddess of Russia. I have to wonder what all that crazy fervor going on earlier was. It must not have had anything to do with the festival itself because things are definitely calmer than they were yesterday. Guess I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions and pinned the blame on the festival. But the whole thing is still very odd. Oh, it was very odd, yes. The film festival is now upon us. After yesterday's disturbances, 
I still have my worries, but ultimately it's a day I welcome. After all, such cultural exchanges have fostered mutual understanding between people and long contributed greatly to Tharbad's development. It is true that some people here worry about the festival's effects on our culture and ways of living. Nobody can deny that. It's our place as the temple to recognize those concerns and the communal balance and address those things in a responsible manner. Very well. Very well. Alright, so swing back around and speak to you. Cinem's over there working hard. Things might be a little confusing for her at first, but the longer she does it, the more she'll come to grips with everything. It's our job to teach her as much as we can, as quick as we can, so that she can come to live an honest and independent life. Okay. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Okay, into the inn then. Oh, it's just a quick break. What happened to me yesterday? My memory's pretty fuzzy, but I guess I had Halla and her family pretty worried for a bit there. It's not like anything could have changed overnight, but why do things feel so different all of a sudden? If I had to guess, maybe it's got something to do with the festival starting and those orbital hookahs disappearing from stores. Who knows? I die, we have some idea. Despite today being the film festival, everyone, our guests, the merchants, other tourists, have mellowed out a bit. It feels like... Uh, what do you think was going on? Thankfully, nothing ended up happening here in the inn, but still can't help but wonder. Ah well, the festival's starting, which means more guests for us. As my mother always says, it's time to get cracking and work, work, work. Hmm? Roman is back to his usual self now, which I'm glad to see. What do you think was going on earlier? That was odd. You know, I feel like I haven't seen any of those orbital hookahs today. Wait, they couldn't have been behind it, could they? Well, whatever it was, I can stop worrying about what's going on out there and get back to focusing on my business now. The real festival is going to be kicking off soon, but all the bars tonight are going to be more alive than they've ever felt. Um, Looking is always free, you know. It is, isn't Come it? Come back for more any time. Uh, we don't need to use the kitchen. We're good there. Anything else in here? No, just the computer. Hello. Ooh. Quite a few people down there. I'm so shocked and humbled to know His Highness is at the Hammam. Ah. I'd heard he was an affable man, but to witness him in person... I never dreamed the day would come that I would have the honor of protecting someone from the royal family alongside Naj. Or Naj. It's an extremely great honor, as you can imagine, not just as a bracer, but as someone versed in Al Sam's royal sword fighting style. Oh. That was a nasty turn of events last night, it was. And it's a shame those orbital hookahs proliferated as far as they did, even if only temporary. Thankfully, none of that has stopped the festival. Now it's time to do my part. I'm doing my part to ensure it's a good event for the people of Tharbad. I have to do whatever I can to help mitigate any disturbances or other concerns that might arise so that everyone can get the most out of today. Fee's here as well, okay. Van, everyone, excellent timing. I was just about to come talk to all of you. Prince Sharid. And Najee is with you too. Naj, Naj, not to mention our two favorite actresses. And even Sylphie, it's a party. That's quite the crew you've got here, your highness. What's the occasion? Well, his highness invited us over. We figured taking a bath here would be a nice way to freshen ourselves up for the parade and the award ceremony. As for me, I wanted to take a dip at least once while I was here. Anyway, so I was hardly about to say no, but as nice as it is to be accompanied by such lovely ladies, it'd be a bit lonely in the men's bath, so I wanted to invite you all as well. We appreciate the offer. What do you say, Mr. Arkwright? We do still have time to spare before the parade officially begins. You bet we're coming in. Wouldn't dream of missing something like this. Not every day you get to rent out an entire bathhouse after all. You'll take just about any excuse as long as it gets you in the door, huh? <laughs> well, Van's not wrong, is he? Yeah, take the opportunity, mate. Relax. Ah. This hits the spot. 
Something about having an entire bath to yourself really just makes all your aches and pains melt away. Aches and pains? Man, you are old as dirt if you're talking like that. Today's only just begun, Gramps. <laughs> and yet I know exactly what Van means. My schedule is usually more hectic than you might think. Times like this, when I can relax and wind and unburden are a precious commodity. It's an opportunity to re-examine myself inside and out, washing everything away and becoming a new me in turn. See this man here? He understands. That's exactly it, your highness. I've always felt that way. Bathhouses definitely serve a social function, but they're first and foremost a place to engage with yourself, at least in my opinion. Just so! With a mindset like that, I can definitely see you going far in life, Van. Oh, great. As if one old fight in my life wasn't enough, now I get to share a bath with two of them? Forget all that meditative shit. Let's have some fun. A little test of endurance, who's in? Didn't you hear a word I said? This is a sacred place. It's not somewhere you could just screw around and... Actually, I quite like the idea. Nothing like a friendly bout to bring two souls together in spiritual harmony. I don't know about spiritual whatever, but at least I've got a taker. What about you? Too scared to take me? Not that I blame you when it's clear as day which of us has more stamina. Don't get so full of yourself, kid. Alright, you want to play? I'll play. Excellent. Finally, an opportunity to settle our unfinished business from back at the Sansi. As ever, I can hear our mighty men getting rowdy on the other side. Oh, for the love of men, my foot. They might as well be a bunch of kids. Yeah, I'm going to have to report this to His Highness's sister later. Probably for the best. She at least sounds like she's got her act together. Glad someone out there can make a dent in him. Speaking of someone making a dent, Judith, I noticed you warmed up to Van and his assistants. How did that happen? Are you out of your mind? Exactly how do I look like I've warmed up to them? <laughs> it's just a feeling I have. Oh, shut up. Don't give me that cheeky smile and a giggle. So that's what happened to Ada. Thanks for filling me in. I really appreciate it. Your boss told me a little about it before, but I'm still glad I got to hear it from your side as well. Sounds like she was an amazing woman right to the very end. Yeah, she was. I really admired her. I was really hoping to get together with her, Zeno and Leo one of these days. It's not enough to lose the boss. You had to up and go too, I guess. I'm sorry, Fee. No, it's okay. I'm sorry for getting all gloomy there. Besides, it wasn't all loss for either of us. Huh? What do you mean? Well, she was something of an older sister to both of us, yeah? That gives us a personal connection. Now we're coming together because of it. I don't know about you, but I feel like what we have could turn into something special. Yeah, you're right. Same here. Ada talked about you too, you know. I think she also wanted to see you again. Can't imagine this is how she ever thought we would meet up. But I'm so glad we got to talk. This has been great. I'm glad you think so too. I know I'm no replacement for Ada. And I don't want to be either. But I am a former Jaeger. From what I've seen, I get the feeling our combat styles line up pretty well. So if you... Have, uh, have any questions on stuff, just ask. I'll be more than happy to talk. Really? That'd be awesome. Thanks, V. In that case, can I ask you something right now? Sure. What is it? See, there's something that's been bothering me ever since we came in here. All the other girls are... What's something Aaron would say? Packing heat or something like that? Oh, dear. How can I be like all of them? Okay, that's about the last thing I was expecting you to ask. I'm sorry. Do you think there's no hope for me? Well, it's true that Nina and Judith are really beautiful, and the other girls are easy on the eyes, too. Still, I don't think you've got anything to worry about. You've still got a lot of time to grow. You'll get there. You really think so? Think so? I know so. I used to be pretty similar to you until I had a growth spurt right around the time I turned 18. Hey, you two. Mind if I join you? Oh! Oh, 
was a weird noise. I hope I grow up to be just like Anya's one day. Hmm. Quick question, Anya's. You go to Aramis, yeah? Yes, I'm a first year there. Dang, a first year and you're already like that. You remind me of a certain class president I know. Oh dear. A class president? Why? It's nothing, really. Anyway, Freddy, getting back to our discussion. Truth be told, it's also important to know your limits and recognize you won't have everything others do. It's part of being an adult. That's not what you said before. Uh, what are you two talking about? Forget it, it's got nothing to do with you. I can't even begin to imagine what it's like having the things that you do. Uh, huh? Why do I suddenly feel like the odd one out? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, how could I lose to a punk ass like him? Guess your age is catching up with you, huh, Gramps? I wish I could say you were wrong, but... But... Well, I for one had a fine time, even if I was the first one to lose. Thank you for joining me, both of you. I'm gonna have to do this again sometime. This communing as men. Buddy, if you want to commune as men, I know some good monasteries of the night, if you catch me drift. That sounds like a grand idea. Count me in. Your Highness, I urge you to reconsider your position before making such commitments. <clears throat> Pardon me. I was merely kidding, of course. Yes. Eh, no problem. We'll have to be sneaky to make sure you don't get caught by your scary-ass bodyguard. Don't give the guy any ideas. I really wouldn't push your luck when it comes to that woman. <laughs> For as silly as those guys can be, at least they seem to be having fun. True. But I don't know if we should be especially happy about it in this case. Anyway, I think we're going to chill here a little longer before we head out. We're counting on you guys to get us through the parade and everything else. Don't let us down. Not to worry. With us on security, everything's under control. You two ladies just focus on putting on a good show. Alright, let's have a chat with everyone now. You boys sure got noisy over there. Whatever you three were doing, you sounded pretty into it. Hm, not that I'm one to criticize. I've gotten up to my fair share of trouble like that before. I know how it goes. Yeah, I can imagine knowing the kind of company you kept over the years. We had a nice time. Got to hear all kinds of stories from her about what Ada was like back in the day. And she has so many interesting thoughts on Jaegers now that she's a bracer these days too. I love talking to her. I didn't think what I had to share was that interesting, but I appreciate it. If my experiences can help you, then I'm content. Damn, are you guys talking about heavy shit the entire time while our dumb asses were horsing around? Not entirely. I would say that the latter half of our time spent in the bass was since spent discussing more typical concerns of young ladies. You said, don't say it like that. You're gonna give Aaron weird thoughts. Uh, he's probably got them anyway. Anyway, I'm glad I finally had a chance to sit down and spend some time talking to Ferry. It was a good reminder that we all owe it to Ada, too, to confront Almata. Indeed. That was quite the intense match we had in there. Such moments like that are why I love bathhouses such as this. Being among your peers in the buff and competing like that, you learn a lot about each other as men. Oh, I learned a lot about you too, all right. Especially just how much this old fire here is getting on in years. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Just remember we're only five years apart. You'll be right in my shoes before you know it. Do I even want to know what you three got up to in there? Whatever was going on, we could certainly hear your voices on the other side, and it sounded rather... colourful. <laughs> Forgive our tomfoolery. That said, your whole group seems rather jovial, Van. Even more than I initially surmised. Once these festivities are over, and the case is truly behind us, I'd love to do this again. Not for business. Purely for pleasure. Glad you enjoyed our company, Your Highness. Means a lot coming from a man of your stature. But if we're gonna have any more competitions, can it wait until I've trained up a little? I don't want to lose to this punk ass again. Somebody's a sore loser, eh? Except your fate already, old fart. Your time has come. The time's come. And gone. <laughs> Very well. I'll hold off on any more competitions until I've trained as well. 
But it is in the cards now, I remember that. Oh dear, you've set yourself up there. Now that I've worked up a decent sweat in those baths, it's time to turn my attention back towards the film festival in earnest. Wait, there's one in earnest as well? I'm here on behalf of my father, after all. It's my responsibility to see this event through, especially in light of what's transpired. I'll claim my head feels so clear now that I'm confident I can give my speech completely off the cuff. I won't need any script to back me up. I, I'd always need a script. Even just there as like moral support, just just there, just in case. There will be scripts on the day. Uh, we could hear his highness loud and clear all the way on the women's side. You can and should tell the prince off when he starts to get out of hand in such situations as that. You have my permission, in fact. Doing so will not offend the royal family. If anything, he should stand to be more disciplined, like the Prince of Erebonia is said to be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which one? Even then, which one? <laughs> Just what? I know it's not going to mean much coming from me after all that, but you never catch a break, do you? Must be hard looking after him. Oh no, still part of my job as his bodyguard. If anything, I consider it an honor to be able to serve someone as unique as his highness. I'm still in my head just laughing at what she said. It's just like a what? No. If you say so, still looks like a tough job to me. You know, Naj was pretty quiet while we were all in the baths together. But she looked amazing. Holy smokes, her body's unbelievable. Oh yeah, you're telling me there's more than meets the eye underneath that trim suit of hers? Because now that you mention it, I can certainly believe it. Indeed, I myself was quite impressed with her musculature, seeing it up close. You would not know it otherwise, but she clearly maintains an extensive routine. She was taught as a bowstring, with no slack at any point. I stay on top of my royal sword fighting training, that's why. I've never given much thought to my appearance, but it is a nice testament to my training to be complimented for the resorting physique. That's one way to look at it, I guess. Now that the prince has had his fun and appears satisfied, it's time we return our focus to the task at hand. As representative of the Principality, His Highness has spent much time and effort trying to get to the bottom of all these mishaps. I pray the event goes as planned and his work is rewarded. I know how much he's personally looking forward to it, but we'll see. We'll see. It was nice of the prince to invite us here. Finally got to take a load off my shoulders for a little bit. We're all ready for the parade on our end. So, until things kick off, I'm going to take it nice and slow. Save my stamina for what's to come. It's so important to relax when you can. That soak in the baths really helped me soothe my mind and body. I just hope that Shahina's not too nervous about going into this parade. It's a lot to have foisted on her all of a sudden. I'm worried about other things. No, I have to believe in her. In fact, I do. Judith and I both know she can do it. Everything's going to be just fine. I I can't believe His Highness would grace our humble hammam with his presence. I heard he was an affable guy, and he is, but it's hard not to get nervous serving someone with such a high profile, you know? I've got to make sure everything's running perfectly so he enjoys his visit. Can't have anything embarrassing happen while he's here. Oh, no, of course not. Heading into the hammam? Um, no, actually. Compared to yesterday, our customers seem a lot more calm. Really, the whole city is. What was going on before, I wonder? I haven't seen those orbal hookahs either. But they were laced with something. And that was the cause of all that chaos. Anyway. If that's the case, why not take a break here? Flush out all that bad stuff by working up a little sweat. No, I'm good. Alright, so I just want to check down here. Let me make sure on the map we're good. Yeah, I think we're good there. We checked everything as far as I know. Kitty! See if there's like some event down here or anything. Enter. Do, 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 do. No, we're good there. Right, so we're going to end this part here. And in the next part, we'll continue our little patrol, our rounds with all the events all over the place. 
as we head off to the entertainment district we'll see about getting that 4 spg done as well in the next part we'll see you then Ta for now